There's a whole lot more than just getting on that school bus and sitting in behind that steering wheel and driving around. And with more than 1,600 buses on the road each day, Fairfax County Public Schools wants to make sure that all their bus drivers are ready for the road. Through the FCPS Office of Transportation, all bus driver candidates go through many hours of training, both on and off the bus. New applicants must pass background checks before they're allowed into the bus driver training program. Training Supervisor Sandra Weller explains more about the training process. When someone applies to be a bus driver and they make it into the training program after they pass all of the background checks, um, they begin with a first aid CPR and mapping class. They have classroom instruction, and then we have behind the wheel instruction. Classroom instruction generally lasts about a week, and then we progress to the behind the wheel. And behind the wheel, really, the length of behind the wheel really depends on the personal progression of the applicant. Um, generally, training is at the training center approximately three weeks. We have a week of, we have two weeks of behind the wheel after they leave the training center. Not surprisingly, driving a bus is a lot different than driving your car. It's a 38-foot vehicle, and FCPS wants to make sure that bus drivers have the skills to navigate the congested roads in Northern Virginia. As part of their training, drivers must learn how to perform a pre-trip inspection of their vehicle. Before any bus leaves for the day, drivers are required by federal law to do a pre-trip inspection. This involves checking all around and even under the bus. This type of inspection ensures not only the safety of the driver, but the safety of our students as well. One of the biggest things that they have to um, be taught is a pre-trip inspection on the school bus because they are uh, training to get a CDL or a commercial driver's license. Uh, they have to be able to squat, bend, kneel when they approach that school bus, uh, checking over all components that make that bus work. In other words, trying to find a small problem before it becomes a major problem. We are down on the ground. We're, we're checking underneath that bus uh, in all types of weather. To crawl in and out and up and down and all over the bus, um, to get inside of an engine compartment, to look up underneath a bus, and just having to know all the mechanical parts of the bus and understanding how they worked. At first it seemed overwhelming, but the way they train you and go over it and over it, um, it's something that you learn and it just becomes a natural part of the job. You notice that as you get towards the end of your training. In addition to the physical demands of driving a bus, a bus driver must also be able to work with students of all ages and students with disabilities. Not only are we looking for people that can actually drive a vehicle, but they need to be able to work with students, parents, school staff as well. It's, it's a multifaceted responsibility. One of the things that you learn is basically once you sit behind the wheel of that school bus, you learn you have two environments. There's an environment on the outside that the driver has to be conscious of at all times, uh, as well as the environment on the inside. I looked at the job and I just thought how exciting it would be to learn a new career and to work with children and the public and because it's a service for the community. Fairfax County Public Schools owns and operates one of the largest school bus fleets in the nation and transports more than 130,000 students every day. With that many buses carrying students, the bus driver training program is thorough and always emphasizes safety as a top priority. We want our drivers to be the best and that is why we go through this rigorous training. We try to expose them to everything possibly that they could be challenged with out there. All throughout the training, it is emphasized over and over again the word safety. You hear the word safety continually. The trainers are incredible. They're very helpful. Um, there's not a question that they don't want you to ask and they explain it very thoroughly and they're right there with you the whole time. You're never alone through this process. They're there with you, guiding you and helping you learn each part of your training. Through the FCPS Bus Driver Training Program, candidates not only learn how to drive a bus, but learn that they can become part of a school community. We can impact children's lives. We are role models. Those children watch us behind that wheel and we need to set an example 
and there's, there's many, many rewarding testimonies from many of our drivers that have impacted a child's life. To learn more about the Bus Driver Training Program, go to the FCPS website.